So now we're going to round out your understanding of formula fields by looking at a sample exam question from the exam guide. And as a reminder, this exam guide is available from the resources section of lecture one of this course. You can also find it by Googling for the platform app builder exam guide. And we're looking at sample exam question number two because it deals with a very similar scenario to what we just worked through. So I'm going to read this question here and it's divided into two parts and then as well we've got to choose two answers. So this is a really good sample question. This will help us unpack a lot of different nuances of, as far as how to approach these questions as well as how to understand how formulas work better. So Universal Containers App Builder needs to display an accounts rating on all contacts related to that account. Account. Which formula is valid in a text formula field on the contact to display the appropriate value? Now you're tasked with choosing two answers and so one brief note is that when you're having to select two correct answers, if you only get one of the answers correct, you do not receive partial credit on the exam. You miss the entire question. So no partial credit on your answers. So between these answers, there's a couple here at the top that are very similar, and these are case statements. And one has just the values, and basically this is saying that if the account rating is hot, then make the contact rating hot. If it's warm, make the contact rating warm, cold, cold. And then if all else would be not rated. And then this other one, the only difference is it has quotes surrounding these values. As well, it's the same sort of logic that it's looking up from the contact up to the account with this dot notation. And it's saying that if the account rating equals hot, then put the text value hot in the rating field on the contact. And then the same for warm and cold and then all else would be not rated and this would be a case statement so that's a case function in the formula these other two answers are very similar as well they have this dot notation for account dot rating and the other one is wrapped in text it's text account dot rating now you notice here that this field on the account called rating that is not a custom field not to be confused with what we just worked through we created an account rating custom field and you notice here is that API name of account underscore rating underscore underscore C. Now in our example here in this question, it's account dot rating. That hints at that being a standard field because there's no underscore underscore C. So if we go back to the object manager, we need to actually go to the account object because we're looking for the rating field on the account. So if I go to fields and relationships on the account object, we have our account rating custom field that we created previously, but if you scroll down, and you click on view all and then one thing that's not great about lightning experience is when you click view all it doesn't actually show you all fields you've got to click next to go through the next page and so this is the field that we're referring to in the sample exam question it's just called writing it is a standard pick list field so you've got to know enough about the platform to know that on the account object there's a standard field called rating and that it is a field type of pick list, okay? So if I click on this, you see that the values in the rating standard field are hot, warm, or cold. If you remember in our example that we started with from that PDF, they started off with hot, warm, and cold, and I changed that to green, yellow, and red. So if we go back to our question, you see it's account.rating and that would be this field here. And so one thing to specify here is that this field that we're leveraging on the account object, looking up to the account from the contact in our formula, is a pickless field. And so the idea behind returning a text value is you need to actually wrap that return type with a text function. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this is correct by copying this and then we'll go back to the contact object in the object manager and then we're going to click fields and relationships. And so now if we go back to our account rating field, so what I want to do is instead of pulling from this account underscore rating underscore underscore C field, which is that custom field on account, I want to change this to pull from the standard field called rating. So what I want to do is I'll go ahead and paste in the new value and that's pulled from the exam guide and it's text and then in the parenthetical is the dot notation of account dot rating. And so as a reminder, this is going from the contact, looking up to the account and pulling in that account's rating that this contact belongs to. And so as well, you can look up the function here for reference by clicking on it, and it shows you 
text and then in the parenthetical is a value. It converts a value to text using standard display format. So if we check the syntax, there's no errors here, so we'll go ahead and click Save. And so now if we go to a contact record, such as Phyllis Cotton here, and we go to the Details tab, let's go ahead and click Refresh, and then click the Details tab, we see that the account rating field is blank. So what we'll do is we'll go to the account that she belongs to, and we'll go to the Details tab there, and we'll, we'll double-click in the rating field here to populate a value on the account level, and we'll give this Avid Insurance a value of hot, and click Save. And then if we then want to revisit the contact record, we can go to the Related tab for the account and scroll down and go to Phyllis Cotton in the Contacts Related list. Clicking on her record and then going to the Details tab, we see now an account rating of hot. That is the formula field pulling in from the standard rating value on the account. And so you notice as well a couple of other things to note is when you've got to choose two answers and if you see two groupings that are very similar and they may be spread apart or interspersed but you notice that one of these two is probably going to be right and one of these two is probably going to be right. So the main other thing to realize is that for these case statements in the sample exam question the text needs to be wrapped in quotes as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy this and I'm going to go back to my uh, formula editor in the custom formula field on contact. So this is the account rating field on the object of contact. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to revisit my formula and see if there's another way of forming this to return what I want. So I'm going to click Edit. And one brief note as well is that that example PDF of example advanced formulas is also available by clicking the More Examples link right here in the formula editor. That brings up that PDF that we, well, it's actually it's in a different format. It's the same content as in the PDF, but it's in the online help. So this is the examples of advanced formula fields, and there's clickable links for these different samples, such as date formulas, case management, account management, etc. So I wanted to show you how to get to that. So the other correct answer for this question would be this one. And so that's a case statement. If we look at the function here, and the help on that, it says that there's an expression, and then if the value is this, the result is that. If the value is this, the result is this, result two. Then for all others is the final else result. So that checks an expression against a series of values. If the expression compares equal to any value, the corresponding result is returned. If it is not equal to any of the values, the else result is returned. So we'll get rid of our text function, and we'll just leave this here and we see that we're looking up to the account and the standard field of rating through our dot notation of account dot rating and so the first value is hot so if on the account the rating is hot then the contacts rating will be hot and then correspondingly if it's warm it'll be warm if it's cold cold and if it's nothing it'll say not rated so you notice now that we have an option to return not rated if it was blank in our previous example it just would pull in text and then account dot rating and so when my account had no rating it was just blank so this would probably be the best possible answer here is that for blanks it's accounted for that as well with this case statement of returning not rated but D is also a correct answer as well and we saw that that worked so let's click check syntax and see if this actually works and it does and so real quickly I'm going to get rid of the quotes I'm not sure what's going on here with that extra comma so if we check the syntax this should blow up and so you notice here if we compare it to what we had here and I'll go ahead and I'll just copy this just to make sure I've got this correct for the syntax there's no way this can work because it needs the quotes in order to find the different values and so with the case statement it needs the quotes to handle text values and so it's looking for a field called hot which does not exist so to recap here the possible correct answers are B and D and then as well other things to note as I mentioned if you have to choose two answers you cannot get partial credit and then the word that this whole question hinges on is this word here. It's a text formula field. It's returning a type of text. And so with this standard field of writing being a pick list value, it has to be converted to a text value on the contact because it's a text formula field. And then this other one is this case statement. This is a great formula because it also returns a not rated if it's blank. 
And then as well, since it is a text formula field, we've got to know what we're dealing with. And so if it finds a text of hot, it returns a text value of hot, etc. And so what I wanted to do as well, I'm going to revert this back to this formula value before we close things out in this lecture and return back and correct this to this formula. Check the syntax again, it should be correct. Click save. And now if I go back to this account that I previously was in for Avid Insurance, I'm going to clear out the rating field. And so instead of a value of hot, I'm going to select none and click save and then I'm going to go back to Phyllis Cotton and another way you could get to her would be from the contacts drop down and select her under recent records and go to the details. Now for the account rating field it should say not rated and that's because our field is returning not rated for the else in the case statement. That's a great formula and uh, another good way to start to understand this better. And so I really do encourage you to explore these sample advanced formula fields and work through some different scenarios to begin to become more familiar with the different functions available to you, the different types of statements and how to form great formulas and cross object formulas, etc. because it just might appear on the exam. So keep these tips in mind as you continue onward towards your quest of becoming certified as a platform app builder on the Salesforce platform.